It does make me feel a little bit like grandma and also a little bit like Wednesday, but wearing peach instead of black. Hey there, folks. Uh, I'm going to start making the Aurel blouse by Deer and Doe. It's one that I've been wanting to make for a while now. Um, it's basically, it looks a lot like a t-shirt, but it's made with woven fabric. So I'm really excited to get started on this. This is Robert Kaufman Brussels washer linen fabric. The color is called cream sickle. I'm not sure how it's coming through, but it's kind of like a salmon-y color. Um, it's really soft. It's a rayon linen blend. It's kind of robust feeling too. It's got a bit of weight for its, for its yardage. So hopefully it'll work out fine for this blouse. I don't really use the Pellin interfacing anymore. This is Silk Organza and I've always heard wonderful things about it for interfacing collars. So that's the plan for this. The pattern pieces are fairly simple. However, I usually need to widen out for the hips. I usually grade out from the waist out to a larger size. So I'm going to have to trace out these shapes onto my Swedish tracing paper. This is the front bodice and these notches are basically where the waist is. It's narrowing in here. I have very wide hips so we are going to grade out from my size one size up and to do that we are going to find our size, which is down below where the camera can see, and follow it up to the waist. I'm right basically in the middle, and we are just gonna ease it out using our French curve to match it up to the next line. And I usually think what I will do is we're gonna ease it in a little Let's see, I'm gonna, actually, I think I wanna start mine just a little above the waist because I am short-waisted. So, um, if we can start it above the waist, we'll have more room for my hips, which start, like, literally right after my waist. also need to make sure that we have this notched and then the whole rest of the front bodice exactly the same on the lines we're going to follow this line down on this side and this line up on this side making a little hole with the pin at each point of the dart and then since this is just a mock-up I'm going to use my fine tip black pen but for the actual project we need to use a water soluble marker or chalk. After the dart points have been marked you're going to connect them together using the straight edge of a ruler and again, just using my black pen since this is only a mock-up. So once you've done the legs on one point, we're going to do it for the other point to make a diamond. lighting in here is terrible. The mock-up's done. It has the desired ease around the bust. Unfortunately, at kind of like the below the waist to the hips, there is barely any ease despite grading it out. So let's see if we can see the markings I put on here. So I put a marking on here below the bust line 
and then here at kind of like the high hip as where I need to grade out. Also, being a pear shape, my shoulders are pretty narrow. So this line here is where it'll get turned under for the standard pattern. This point here is where my shoulder point actually is. So when it's turned under the 5 8 inch seam allowance, you can see it's still going to hang off my shoulder. What I'm gonna want to do is to take in the width of the shoulders a bit to compensate for my narrow shoulders and make sure I keep that 5 8 inch seam allowance um, on there as well. So I'm gonna go make some modifications to my mock-up and we'll see how those fit. Okay, this is the second mock-up. Uh, the fit is much better. So what I've done is from the bust to waist, went out, blended out one size, and then from the waist to the hip, blended out another size. So I've gone from the bust to the hip two different sizes. And then for the shoulders, which were too wide, I have blended the size down on the top of the front piece and on the back yoke to narrow this on the outer side and it seems to have done the trick. I think overall the fit is about where I want it now so I'm gonna go cut out my main fabric. to see but I've run two lines of gathering stitches along the top fronts here these are going to be gathered down so we can attach them to the back shoulder yoke just did my faux overlock stitch so those are finished I now need to start working on the collar where is that I've got all my collar pieces here my silk organza which I still need to iron out I need to get my collar done and then it will be the sleeves and I shall be done My collar pieces have all been interfaced with silk organza and now it is time to start actually making the collars. has been turned right side out and pressed. Now we need to top stitch along the edges before basting it on to the blouse. We broke a needle. Not to worry, I was just about done. I just had a couple of stitches left here to do, so I'm just gonna put on a thicker hand sewing needle and stitch those down by hand, and then the collar top stitching will be done.
we need to interface the cuff bands with the silk organza, stitch along the edges, and then we'll be ready to make the cuffs. Okay, the cuffs are interfaced with the silk organza and we need to fold them in quarters. So that will be one center fold and then folding that in half. I am actually gonna go do this with the iron so it stays in its folds. Okay, they have been pressed into quarters and now that the creases are all in there, we are going to unfold. Unfold! Pin the ends together. These will get stitched and everything, after pressing this open, everything will get uh, folded back down and ready to sew onto the sleeves. The hem I folded under twice and stitched it down and it turned out pretty nice. The last thing I have to do is to stitch is to stitch down these cuffs. I did hand baste them down so I could get those pesky pins out of my way and I just need to stitch them and give a final press and then we'll be done. blouse was a very easy and satisfying make. Uh, it's like, feels like a t-shirt except it's woven. The linen rayon blend is really soft and really cozy honestly. I'm not entirely happy with the collar. It was my first time doing a collar and it's got just a little bit of curve on these points and it annoys me. Uh, it's not super noticeable though, it's just personal irritation. The only other issue was with the collar facing on the inside. Um, nothing really too bad. I just have like a couple of spots where it's a little bit wrinkly. Uh, all in all, perfectly functional. It's just some personal things that I need to work on. Some skills that I need to build. Not a big deal. This shirt is very wearable, very comfortable. I'm very happy with it. I will definitely be making more in the future. So let's see, the main mods I did on it, uh, I talked about already. I, I increased out for the waist and even more for the hips. Go hips. And decrease for my shoulders. Uh, a lot of pear-shaped people, their shoulders tend to be narrow or sloped, so they often find that, me included, find that the shoulders of a lot of shirts or dresses can be too big as they are drafted. I don't have many videos left to film for the year. I'm gonna be done with sewing garments for the rest of the year. Actually, I do have more sewing and other things to make. Uh, my next video, I will be showing some of the handmade gifts that I make for Christmas.